Jones Radio here back again for another video today. Match preview against Blackburn Rovers. Now, before I start, the football vlogging awards are out soon. Um, basically, the nominations are out on the Friday the 30th for March, so it's not too far from now. And they end on Friday the 31st of March, one minute before dead, uh, midnight. So if you could please vote for me for that in any category, um, especially vlogging or under 18 content creator, I'm not quite sure in the categories yet. But when I do finally know, I'll let you guys know. But um, in future videos now, I'll probably be do it, reminding you, especially when voting's open. So if you could please vote for me when voting's open, it means the world. Especially if I get to the final, it'll be thanks to you guys. And um, all the supporters really appreciate it. So if you could vote me for the football blog and the votes when no nominations are available, I'll be reminding people on social media. So please do that and share about when it's open. But back onto the match preview now. Um, Blackburn Rovers. Now we've drew in the last six games, I believe... Um, against Blackburn there's been two draws and two wins for either side apiece and so yeah so the last two games has been a two all draw against Blackburn and a one all draw against Blackburn so um, I think a draw is very favourable for this game I think both teams need to win to keep their playoff race obviously Blackburn had a disappointing nil nil draw home to Stoke and we had a disappointing one nil defeat to Fulham where um, we got robbed of a point really but Fulham did create a lot of chances but um, Blackburn only a point ahead of us in the table and a um, a point ahead of us in the table they're on 52 points on 51 and only a place above us so um, whoever doesn't win this game I don't think realistically playoffs are out so for example if Blackburn lose or draw I think they're out and if we'd lose or draw then we're out in my opinion Blackburn have been on decent form in the last five games the last five games they've drew two one two and lost one they have not lost in four games so they've got a decent record there where they lost one nil to Fulham like I said they're only four points behind the Preston in the playoffs will go west who have, I believe they've got Fulham this weekend so that's going to be a tricky game for Preston but like I said Blackburn have done very well I think at the start of the season they were struggling under uh, Tony Mowbray but he's a very experienced championship manager um, he's a very good manager knows how to get the best of his players and the players are working very well for him he's got some very good players um, some of the players I really like from Blackburn personally probably Armstrong their striker he's a very good player Adam Armstrong I think he was on Bucks in Newcastle before Bradley Johnson very experienced midfielder he used to play for Norwich um, I think I think Torson Adderbeo is on loan for Man City I believe Christopher Walton from Brighton, Stuart Down is a very experienced player, Danny Graham of course who say has been dropped to the bench of recent weeks but Blackburn do have a very good squad but so do the Swans we've got some very good players like uh, every Swans fan know Andre Ayew, Rian Brewster, Conor Gallagher so we've got a good squad as well um, yeah so like I said both team well Blackburn have been on bare form in the last recently so this should be a very tricky game injury concerns Brad Leons is out of hamstring injury Bradley Dax rolled out for the rest of the season uh, that's a big blow for Blackburn but they've done okay without him so far Corey Evans, Derek Will Williams, Gregory Cunningham, Lewis Holtby all out as well, and Darry Darren Lenahan I believe is out. Well, he's suspended. For the Swans, only two injuries. George Byers is still ruled out for the rest of the season, and Mike Van der Horn's also been ruled out for the end of the season. Now that's a big blow. I think. Um, I think his last game, I'm trying to remember, we played against, I think it was Charlton at home, so I think I was back, like Van Horn's last game. So it's a shame he's not going to get a reception off the Swans fans, potentially at the end of the season when he walks across the pitch. But it's, it's such a shame, really. Mike Van Horn's a very good player since dropping in the Championship anyway. Didn't really get looking in the Premier League, but he's been a very good player for us, very good defender in the Championship, possibly one of the best in the Championship. So I can only hope that he sends a new contract, but it's going to be very rare considering we're going to often reduce terms and uh, potentially he could be playing in the Premier League next season. So, wish Mike Van der Hoen a speedy recovery, and it's very unlikely he'll be playing for the Swans again. I'm going to go for the same team again, really, against Blackburn. I just think team played very well against Fulham, defensively anyway, attacking me. Could have potentially done a bit better on the counter-attack, but you know what? It's Fulham, they're one of the best teams in the Championship. To keep Mitrovic quiet for 93 minutes, 94 minutes, we did well until we conceded. So, it was a big shame in the end. But like I said, following in the playoff playoffs for a reason. They're such a good squad. Attacking, they're, they're amazing. So we shouldn't be too disheartened. But like I said, it's a must-win game for the Swans this weekend because we're five points behind uh, Preston, who are likely to lose against Fulham. Likely watch them win now, but uh, we need it a win. A draw's not good enough anymore. Um, we're into our final eleven games of the season, so we can't be having draws or losses, especially when we still got to, like some leads. Not enough for us to play Bristol City, so we do have some tough fixtures left. This is why we got to get a three points at Ewood Park. Um, my score prediction: I will go for a. 
I'm going to go for a nil-nil. I'm going to go for a boring nil-nil. Um, I was going to go one all, but I just think it would be boring nil-nil, really. Um, let me know your score predictions down below, because I'm not that confident. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, just think, defensively, we've been doing well. I'm not going to lie. I know, like I said, so close to keeping a clean sheet against Fulham. Obviously, Mitrovic missed a late penalty, but then he scored with a great header. Um, I do have to say it was a very good header by Alexander Mitrovic, and that is why he scored about 22 goals this season, because the guy, he's, he's, he's a Premier League player. I can see him with like someone like Spurs in the summer uh, as a, like a backup striker, but, you know, um, at the end of the day, someone of Alexander Mitrovic's quality, we can't really stop him. We tried our best. Uh, but for the people who had the score prediction right against Fulham, congratulations to SCFC underscore 21 plays because he predicted a 1-0 Fulham. Um, obviously, not the best result for us because he did predict us to lose, but he was the only one right, so congratulations to you, mate. Leave your comments down below if your score prediction. If you get it right, you'll be featured on the next match, which would be West Brom Shelby next Friday. So, get your comments down below. Yeah, for today's video, guys, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm only like 70 off... Uh, 2k now so if you could get me there it'd be really appreciated really appreciated um following vlogs on about 2000 views now which is very good for me i always appreciate uh any vlog doing get any vlog doing a view really but uh 2000 views is really good um following fans enjoy it i'm not surprised why but thanks to all the swans fans who do watch my channel even if we lose and leave a like so please leave a like comment subscribe but like i said football blogging awards or vlogging awards will be out soon so make sure you vote for me in that i'll let you know follow all my social medias there'll be a match reaction following tomorrow's game against Blackburn rovers like i said apologies can't make that but i'm not made of money i of course have planned stuff out uh to go out with my mates so unfortunately um i can make it to ewood park but safe travels to all the traveling jacks safe travels to all the blackburn rovers fans as well hopefully you traveling just bring the three points back if you go in let me know and like i said i'll see you guys later come on you swans